Hey everybody, welcome in to Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com, and we're going to be talking Sunday night's League's Cup final. It'll be played in Columbus at Lower.com Field and feature an all-MLS affair for the second consecutive season in this event as no Liga MX sides advanced to the final for the second consecutive year. Last year, it was Inter-Miami defeating FC Nashville uh, in penalty kicks, and now we will have a rematch of the MLS Cup from December of last season as the Columbus crew looks to defeat LAFC once again. These are the two best teams in MLS as far as I'm concerned, and uh, the crew have really done well, although here Miami leads in uh, the MLS regular season standings and has continued to play extremely well despite not having Lionel Messi for the last uh, few weeks due to his ankle injury suffered in Copa America. But these, these squads have uh, really gotten the job done uh, both over the last couple of months and the fact that they uh, got to where they got to during last year's playoffs. Uh, you got to beat the champs to beat the to be the champs. And so I like uh, these squads a little better than Inter Miami, although that remains to be seen. But as far as the League's Cup is concerned, these two teams have gotten to the final uh, in excellent form. Uh, LAFC in the knockout stage dominated Austin FC 2-0. They beat the San Jose Earthquakes 4-1. They defeated the Seattle Sounders 3-0. And they come off a 4-0 win over the Colorado Rapids. That was our free play the other night. So hope you cash there. And I also mentioned that I liked the Columbus crew to beat the Philadelphia Union. And obviously that also transpired as the Philly Union did score, but uh, went home with a 3-1 to defeat. So that sets this matchup up again between teams that have met each other once in th this year's MLS season in the rematch of last year's MLS Cup. And that was noteworthy because Columbus defeated LAFC 5-1 out there in Los Angeles. It was the first time that Los Angeles had given up five goals at home uh, to anybody in MLS. Uh, and uh, it was another dominant performance. Uh, the first team to win at LAFC this year. Uh, and it ended a 13 match unbeaten streak for LAFC. Uh, only the fourth time in its history that it had allowed five goals. So Columbus technically has uh, LAFC's number, and we'll see if that continues here. It was a, a contentious match. Murillo and Inestrosa uh, got double red cards in the 97th minute. There was uh, uh, two red, ye two yellows for Valencia, who was uh, ousted in the 83rd minute. Uh, and then uh, the Columbus crew went up 4-0 in that match before uh, Nathan Orgas pulled one back for LAFC to make it 4-1. And then there was a fifth goal from Columbus to rub salt in the wound from uh, Romanian Matan. Uh, and uh, that ultimately ended up being the final score. Christian Ramirez uh, scored the first goal in the first half. He's uh, scored again in the second half. Cucho Hernandez, who has been a goal scoring machine for Columbus, has also uh, found the uh, back of the net there. He takes penalty kicks for the crew and so is the preferred goal scoring option. Uh, talking about that in this match, at plus 145 is an anytime goal scorer, according to DraftKings, plus 475 to score first or last. Diego Rossi, the Uruguayan, is at plus 150, plus 500 first or last. And the LAFC's Dennis Buangua is at plus 160, plus 550 first or last. And Buanga also scored in the uh, MLS Cup last season, uh, last December. And uh, he was one of the goal scorers for the only uh, goal scorer for LAFC, uh, Yeboa, scored first for Columbus, and then Cucho added a penalty kick, put him up 2-0, and Columbus held on for the 2-1 to win. So this is a rematch between Wilfred Nancy, a very uh, thought, highly thought of a Columbus crew coach, uh, I believe he's from Trinidad, and uh, Steve Chirundolo from uh, LAFC, who was in the running for the uh, top job uh, for the U.S. men's national team that went to Mauricio Pochettino. So right now we got the LAFC side trying to get back to uh, MLS play with uh, more momentum by uh, notching a victory over this crew side that has really owned them over the last 12 months. Uh, beyond that loss, that's the only time that they have lost LAFC in uh, 20 
two matches. So they've got one loss, 18 wins, and three draws. Since May 11th, uh, they'll play the U.S. Open semifinal against uh, Seattle again in Washington next Tuesday. So they could advance to the final there. They come in 14, 5, and 5, second in the West with 47 points. Uh, two points behind the L.A. Galaxy, but with two fewer matches played. So technically, uh, they are running second in MLS behind Inter-Miami. Well, the Columbus crew come in at uh, uh, 12 wins, four losses, and seven draws, 47 to 22 goal differential of plus 25. They've got 43 wins. Uh, only Inter-Miami and FC Cincinnati have more points, and both have played 25 matches to the crew's 23 uh, so Columbus comes in uh, sixth overall in MLS once play resumes at the end of the month. And they are in a great run themselves since May 15th, which includes that blowout win at LAFC. They've won nine times and uh, lost twice with one draw over the last 12 matches. Uh, they do have that CONCACAF Champions Cup final loss to Pachuca in there on June 1st. So that is actually a motivating factor since they've already fallen short in one of these uh, club competitions in the final. I think that that will certainly help matters, as will the fact that they simply don't lose at home uh, and come into this one expecting excellent crowd support uh, at Lower.com Field. Uh, DraftKings has them as a plus 110 three-way money line favorite. They've got uh, LAFC at plus 215 and a draw paying plus 260. I would recommend backing the crew on the three-way money line. However, I would not hate a draw call because at plus 260, you'd be getting two and a half times your investment back and you can uh, Columbus can still win on penalty kicks. And you can also bet Columbus to win the cup at minus 155, which basically means that covers you if they win in regulation and that cancels out your uh, draw bet, or if they win on penalty kicks and then you could win both bets there. The, the total is set at uh, three here, uh, the, uh, which I would bet the uh, high side on. Uh, the over is at minus 125 at DraftKings. The under is juiced out at minus 115. Again, I just use DraftKings lines for um, general purposes, certainly, if you can get a better line with uh, less juice, I would highly recommend that because sometimes uh, DraftKings does get overboard with their juice. I mean, LAFC is uh, is plus uh, minus 150 to get a half a goal here, whereas if you lay the half goal with the Columbus crew, you only get back plus 105. Uh, that is uncalled for. But I'm going to say that Cucho Hernandez scores in this match because he scores in every match for Co Columbus. Finds a way to, if you find a goal or assist prop, uh, that is also recommended. If you want to go with a more of a long shot in this match to score at some point, Maximilian Arfson is, uh, Ar is somebody that is worth watching. He's at plus 340 to score at any time in this match. Uh, and plus 1,000 to score first or last. Uh, the uh, Columbus crew have a very deep bench. So if you like one of their reserves, you can have Yaboa, who has been coming off the bench in Adelaide. So as I mentioned, scored in the last MLS Cup. Jason Russell Rowe from Canada. Matan, the Romanian. Um, Christian Ramirez, if you want to go with, uh, with a, an American, he's at plus 210 to score an anytime goal, plus 650 first or last. Uh, Christian Oliveira from LAFC, the Uruguayan, he's at plus 240, plus 750 to score first or last. And we've seen uh, Olivier Giroud debut for LAFC since signing with the club earlier this month. He's at plus 160 to score any time and plus 550 to score first or last. I do think we'll see goals. And I do think that ultimately when it's over, the Columbus crew will be the League's Cup champion. This is a matchup that you can watch on Apple TV, or uh, if you don't want to stream it or have access to that, you can watch it at 7.15 on uh, Univision or to the end. So check out that. And again, we're riding the Columbus crew. We think they'll win at home, whether it becomes on penalty kicks or in regulation. That's up to you. I'm going to leave that up to you. Uh, but remember, you can always bet minus 155 to win the cup, or take the plus money option, but they'd have to win in regulation. 
Uh, smash that like button for me. Make sure you are subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV. It's been a profitable League's Cup thus far. We're going to continue the action in uh, international soccer throughout leagues all around the world, not to mention MLS. And obviously the football that we prefer here in America, no offense to all our soccer only fans, uh, but college football is now into week zero and uh, getting going for everybody starting next week. And the NFL preseason is wrapping up. So the regular season is around the corner. Uh, make sure you subscribe to all of our videos at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a winner. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.